think I'm really loving this episode because I can relate too much on your mm. story, Pat Mother. Kidding aside, I really can relate to most of your story because... Thank you. Yeah, because I think we have same back-end story. My family is not that well-off also. Mm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I really appreciate them na talagang nag sumikap sila to really yeah. help me and my siblings to yeah. to grow. And then, yeah. and hello, kipagilan kami, anim kami magkakapatid. Wow. Yeah, and, you know, fun Amazing. fact lang, lahat ng pangalan namin is Brian Bonnie, so it's the first, the second, the third, hanggang kung ilan kami. Oh my gosh! Okay, that that makes sense now. That makes sense now. That <laughs> yeah, makes sense why now. I have that's why I have Brian yeah. Bonnie the second. Yeah, so now, so is, is again, it like copy and paste, copy and paste kind of yeah. name? But yeah, I would love to meet. I would love to meet the other Brian Bonnie the the third, the fourth, the fifth. Yeah, but they're amazing. See, so you are six, the right? six kayo. Yeah, it's amazing are. how how hard they they work for their kids. I, I think agree. that if you know you see a, a role model like that, it mm-hmm. you see it emulates like it you feed off of that energy yeah. and whatever your passion is must na ano siya eh, must na what do you call this must like a few sure. because yeah. Yeah, True. yeah agree at saka having that kind of background i mean hindi ko naman sineset aside yung mga mayayaman na pinanganak correct, I, correct. I know they have their own challenges and they have their own struggles growing True. up. Pero Mm-mm. since we have uh, we are on the same level here, I'm talking about mm-hmm. na if you have that kind of background, Mm-mm. don't think about it as ang malas mo naman kasi pinanganak kang hindi well off or your family yes. is not doing well. Because on the positive side of it, that challenge that you have Mm-mm. growing up will be one of your best assets. And that, That's true. that will be that will be the main reason kung paano ka magsusumikap. And that reason will really build up your character kung sino ka ngayon. Actually, ako right yeah. now, I want to thank and I'm really grateful na hindi ako pinanganak na, I mean, na pinanganak ako with that kind of challenge because mm-hmm. na-build yung character ko. I'm a True. very passionate guy. I'm a yes. very, masipag ako tao. I know kung saan ako lulugar. Alam mo yun, with all those kind of skills and character, it all build up because of those challenges of mm-hmm. you, of us. Correct. Bad mother, Correct. Growing. That's why I really love yung mga tao talaga nagsusumikap on their own and really following and pursuing yeah. their path. And it's so not now, easy for everyone, diba? Kasi for example, yeah. even if you have that that passion and that dream, mm-hmm. um, it's an easy, uh, I'm not gonna say it's an easy excuse, but sometimes you get deterred by your social economic background and um and and you know hindi naman yeah it it happens to people that's why i said we're fortunate enough that we were able to push through that mm-hmm. and um mahir yeah it's it's hard it's 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 a hard life to it's life is hard basically mm-hmm. and there are certain social economic backgrounds that would really make you think, can I really do this? Um, if you don't have the support that you get and if you don't have that grit, talagang mahirap. But Agreed. I still commend those people who are really trying Agree. their best. And Agreed. sabi mo nga kanina, diba? even if you're still, if you're old, that's the time that you get to see, like, like uh-huh. try to find your passion. And that's true. Some people uh-huh. don't know. Um, some people don't know what they want to do with their lives. And yeah. it's okay. You know, life is, you know, life is how you live it. It's okay. It's yeah. it's how you get there. Really, it's the journey. It's the entire journey. You, when you look back and you're finally there where you are, and binalikan mo yung journey mo, you'll appreciate it more. So if you're having a hard time right now and you're going through stuff and thinking, I don't think I can do this. I don't have the money. don't have the resources. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, there is at least one person out there uh-huh. who's going to help you, who's ready to listen to you, who's, who's, who will believe in your dreams, who, who believes in you, who's, who's going to champion you. So don't give up just yet. I mean, don't give up. That's just I what agree. I want to say. 
Yeah, and maybe if you are struggling right now, mga katables, mm-hmm. maybe hindi naman na, you're not gonna make it ever. Mm-mm. Maybe it's just not yet for Mm-mm. now. You know what I mean? It's not, yeah. not for now. So just build your character first and then sooner or later, you'll be there. Just yeah. hold on to it and you'll get there no matter what. Okay, awesome. So, Podmother, um, mm-hmm. what's here? My, so my question here is, is there a time in your life while you are defining your passion na mm-hmm. you're questioning yourself na is it the right passion or is it the right dream? Mm-hmm. Tama ba yung path na tinatahak ko? Or should mm-hmm. I consider other passion instead? Oh. No. Is- Can I... Can I say like no? Like no, yeah, not yeah. really. No, no, no. Yeah, no yes, not yes. really. Because like I know I'm gonna do this. Like I just don't know when. Mm-hmm. I don't know when, but like I know wherever I am, I know somehow I'm gonna end up where where I am today. Mm-hmm. I know I I don't know because okay. I always, at night, when I was younger, I'd always pray for, like, the gift of discernment. Like, Lord, uh-huh. you know, thank you for all these blessings. Can uh-huh. I hope you give me the gift of discernment. That's what my dad taught me. And I think that really, I was, it, it's an answered prayer because it, everything that I did led me to this. So I think I know, like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm doing this right now, but I know it's gonna get me to where I want to go. I love that you are, you know, you have that strong core already mm. and uh, nagbago up to this mm. moment. I guess my question, the right question will be, is there a chance or can you see yourself doing other things instead? Oh, In yes. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of things. I'm a Gemini. I'm doing a lot of things. Um, but I'm doing a lot of things. I love to do a lot of things. You know, I, I, I write. Um, I produce, I paint, I do crafts, mm-hmm. I I play an instrument. Mm-hmm. You know, I I can code a program, a software. I'm trained to code mm-hmm. a program or software. Mm-hmm. But at the core of it, it's still like your core, sorry, your core passion still mm-hmm. inside. But yeah. I can do a lot of things. Like this, producing, um, cr- you know, creating a podcast network is also producing. But it's mm-hmm. something different from films, but they're mm-hmm. similar. Mm-hmm. Um, painting, it's you know arts and you know arts and culture has always been my passion, and also music. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm I'm a linguist. I can speak three, four languages. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I can read, write different languages. Um, what else? So I I can do those different things, but I still know what. I'm supposed to do at the end of the day. So, okay, I, I can do all those things like hobbies and passions and stuff, but mm-hmm. I still know what I I'm I have to do at the end of the day. So, yes, I can still do all of those things and more. But at awesome. the core of that, it's becoming, it's, it's being a producer. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you for clarifying your, your core passion. Mm. Okay. I mean, comparing to, you know, all little umbrellas yeah, um, yeah, around oh. your core passion. Thank you for Because people get, actually, because people, people get confused by that yes. for some reason. Yes. Yes. Yeah. They think that, oh, now I want to do this. Now I want to do this. Yeah. No. You yeah. have to see for yourself, like, what do you really want to do inside? It's okay. If you want to do this and that, A, B, C, D, hanggang Z, hanggang Z, go, do it. But you still know what you want to do deep inside. You know, I'm not mm-hmm. being preachy, but that's that's it. Some people just think of it as like, okay, I'm maybe I want to be uh whatever now. Yeah. And then just think about it first, you know. Yeah. Also be be smart about your choices. Yeah. I love that. I really love that. So now me Podmother, you mentioned yes, my that dear. Ab- about entrepreneur, about oh yes, I mean coming back or parang lahat ng work cards more before mm-hmm. is now is going to 
you know, cut print and all the crafts that you're doing. So do you yeah. think, is it safe to say that you are now benefiting as an entrepreneur and as a person because your passion and your skill mm-hmm. are working together? Because backstory on there are some people na their passion is not matching with their skills. Eh. Mm-hmm. It takes time for them to, mm-hmm. to match things. So again, my main question is, is it safe to say that you are now benefiting from it? as an entrepreneur and as a person because your passion and yeah. your skill is working together. Um yes, I can say yes, positively yes because that is the main our main what's what, what, what I'm doing right now. Like um I'm running a company that produces podcasts, that produces films that is doing um content for other companies as well, you know, we're suppliers for different big corporations. Yeah, that we cannot disclose, but we are. <laughs> um, but yes, I can say that we're benefiting from that. But I, but it's not just me, you know. It's, it's, um, it's. There are a lot of people in the background that's working with us to make this happen. So yes, it's benefiting me and the people who are also working with us to make all of this happen, and. It's just that I, again, I'm. I think I'm very fortunate enough to be able to put this passion of mine into use and make it into a business. Just like what you said, it's not always the case for some people. So yeah. I am very thankful for that. Is there a time also in your life where your passion mm. is? I mean, wala yung fire on doing your passion. May times para ganon para nagstaka, um, nagstruggle ka to. Mm. Kung baga nawawala yung drive sa life. Ah, and yes, then, definitely. Because because I have the, because I have depression. <laughs> um okay, people don't well, some people know this about me, but I have severe depression. I was diagnosed when I was in my teens. I have this severe depression. Um I am I'm taking meds actually every single day of my life. I have antidepressants, mm-hmm. anti-anxiety and um medicine for OCD, medicine for slipping, medicine for, I don't know, I, I'm taking like, what, five meds every day? Oh my God, that's a lot. So, um, there are days, there are ebb and flows, okay? There are days when you're not passionate about something, when you're even not even passionate about music. I'm an audiophile. I love listening to good music. I love, good, mm-hmm. I, I love like, I love watching good movies, you know, mm-hmm. all of that. And sometimes when you're at your deepest like darkest moment in your depressive state you'll forget about that passion because you just want to crawl in your bed sleep all day and wish to sleep all day not wake up and this is true i'm not saying i'm perfect but i'm saying that my depression sometimes is the cause of me like not being passionate about about those things and it happens Mm -hmm. for myself but mother, and dami ko ring na interview from this show about depression and anxiety. Mm-hmm. And I re- I'm really learning and still learning, of course, mm-hmm. about, you know, coping up and mm-hmm. all the things around anxiety and depression. Yeah. And I'm sad na we're running out of time because I really want to learn about more from you sa passion and depression and everything about you. But I guess my last question is... Oh, we're running out of time? Oh my gosh. Okay, go. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> go lang. I know. I told them to keep it short because people would like to listen to shorter contents. I was the one who told them this. By yes. the way, and now we're running at like 51 minutes, 24, 24 seconds. And I'm the one who's talking my, my head up. This is, it's, it's like, you know, it's coming back to bite my ass, by the way. <laughs> I think, Padmother, you're just lucky because nasa It's Round Table podcast ka. So, medyo mabait pa kami dito. <laughs> Tapos, uh, actually, sasabihin din ni Padmother, I think you should cut that content really short. <laughs> um, actually, so talang masas, it, well, just to, just to say something very important. Uh, um, to those people who are dealing with depression and anxiety, I would, this is me talking to you guys. 
I would like to say, talk to a psychiatrist or psychologist right now. There are free services out there where you can talk to them on the phone and get proper treatment because, okay, depression and anxiety, it might be caused from trauma. For me, it, it's from both. It's tra trauma from my childhood because I was bullied heavily. We didn't touch up on that because that, that's something that's, that's not going to define me, but that's a root. That's a root. That's, that's the root of, from, from my depression. And also it's chemical imbalance. So you need the medication. You need the right and proper guidance from a doctor. Okay. You need, you can talk to your friends. Yes. But I encourage you, please talk to a doctor. Okay. Right now, if you're watching this and you're going through depression, find some hotlines that are, have like free phone call to a shrink or whoever that's, that's a doctor, a professional, and talk to them right now because that would really help you. I don't think I'll be here if, if, if I did not look it up and saw that that was one of the suggestions and that was one of the, um, the advice that I saw in this thing that I read many years ago when I was in high school. And it helped me. And I'm telling you, doctors really do help because you'll understand better what you're going through than just thinking, I can just try this off. I'm telling you guys, please seek help. It's really important. Don't just, I know you can talk to your friends and friends can help you, but a help of a professional is very, very important. I cannot stress that, stress that enough, okay? It's very important. No. Thank you so much, Padmother. Katables, again, please, please, follow Padmother's advice because siya na yan, mm -hmm. eh, Padmother. Yan. And going back to the passion topic, yes. Padmother. So my last question will be, actually, hindi na siya question, any advice na lang to our mm. listeners on dun sa mga nag-struggle nag and still mm -hmm. defining what's their passion, what's their passion on their life? Okay. My advice would be, start small. That's very important. Start small. If you have something you're thinking, na pa, uh, okay, this, this is something that I might want to do someday, start small. Try it out bit by bit. You know, um, and don't be afraid of failing. You will fail. I'm telling you because I failed. But I try to bring myself back up. Like what I said, I had my dark days. You will fail. Don't be afraid to fail because I'm telling you, you will fail <laughs> 100%. <laughs> don't don't be afraid of that if you fail just think of the things you've learned from that failure and then stand up work back up again now if you're still looking for it it's fine we're not we're not here to preach you that you should know it right away okay it's okay life is how you make it Life is beautiful. You you search for it, okay? Be true to yourself. And again, with that, life is short. So again, please be true to yourself. If there is something that you really want to do, start small. If you want to paint, if you want to become a painter, if you want to become a musician, you know, try small gigs. Try to paint, you know, a couple of things. Try to get a class or things like that. Try to do it, you know, build yourself up to where you want to go. So start small and don't be afraid to fail. Because I'm telling you, 100%, you will fail. I'm not going to mince my words with that. You will fail. I failed. <laughs> You're going to fail. So it's like riding a bicycle. The Once you, fa once you fall down, you're going to have the courage to go back up again. Because you know already the feeling, eh? Diba? Na nag -fail ka. And you'll be more stronger. And that will push your passion and drive straightforward okay ah, ganun pala, ah. okay okay i'm gonna go do it again so start small and start doing it now okay so if hindi man mag work yon it's okay try to do something else and if it didn't work out it's okay try to do something else again until you find what you're really passionate about so that's my advice start small don't be afraid to fail and just keep your head high Thank you so much, Patsy Ferrer. No, thank you very much. 
Thank no, you very thank much. Thank you very much. I really learned a lot on this very special episode. So maybe do you want to promote something, any upcoming gigs or social media accounts? Oh my gosh. I cannot say this. When is it, when is this coming out? Um, Hold on. I, uh, hindi ko kabisado, because, pero I think mga two weeks. Two weeks after uh, this. Is it is it gonna be December? It's gonna be like first week of December. Is it gonna be December four? Friday. I think that's four. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I can say it now. If it's December four, I can say it. Okay. Awesome. So our film Tarang won in Berlin, the best <gasps> and best film. And oh the awarding is this, and the awarding is December four, and I'm bound. We are bound not to promote or say anything and do any press until the awarding ceremony. So, yes. Tarang, a Philippine film, Philippine short film, won the best film in Interfilm Berlin Festival, one of the biggest short film festival in Europe and in Germany, which is an Oscar qualifier. So, yes, oh we are going to be qualified to be submitted in the Oscars for 2021 to be one oh of the God, contenders. Oh my God, To be one of the contenders and might be, might be, I'm not sure, but you know, we're going to be one of those sub ones that get, that's going to be submitted in the Oscars. So, yeah. Oh my God. Congratulations, Padma. Thank you. Thank you. And the director is, of course, Derek Urban Bilarmino, who directed our Halloween special. So oh he's directed Tarang. Yes. Oh my God, congratulations again. And to all the team, to the production, congratulations, guys. For sure, you deserve it all. <laughs> Thank you. And of course, follow all of our podcasts in Carpent Podcast Network, including It's a Roundtable Podcast. Follow our social media accounts. And if you want to follow me, <laughs> I'll be just posting stuff from them. So follow uh, the Patsy Fitter in Twitter, Instagram. If you want to follow me on Facebook, go ahead also. But in more, more, more importantly, follow all the shows um, in the network and the films that we're doing. And also, of course, um, thank you very much, Bonnie, for having me in the show as my first guest in the Woo-hoo! network. So thank you very much. And of course, uh, oh, January, um, I, can, I think I can announce this. Um, I'm going to have a podcast. It's called The Pod Bomb. So you're invited. Oh Oh my yeah. God. It's going to be, huge. yes, the Pod Mom is a show where we talk about um, different topics every month. So we're not bound by any genre. So awesome. for the first month, we're going to talk about, I can't disclose it yet, but it's going to be something special. It's going to be out January 2021. It's called Yay. the Pod Mom. Oh my God. Oh my God. And daming updates. And daming pasabog naman ni Padmother. <laughs> so, <laughs> ayun na nga mga katipols. Again, thank you so much. I am your host. I am Brian Bonnie. And again, I'm here together with the o- with the one and only other, Patsy Ferrer. Bye, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you, mga katipol. Mm-hmm.